Live from Starkville, we are at Ben 612 on the patio. Great seats right here at the corner of University Drive and Maxwell Street. Richard Cross, Brian Haydad, Michael Borky in the studio, and we are joined by the mayor of Starkville right now, Lynn Spruill. Kind enough to stop by and spend a few minutes as well. I guess this is the first time that we've met. It's so good to see you. Well, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate being invited to meet with you guys, and you couldn't ask for a better spot to be in. Not a bad place. <laughs> and, and the weather has cooperated, too. Seems like the rain's out, a little bit of a breeze. Not bad today. Every day is a beautiful day in Mississippi's college town. There, there you go. Like, You're my you man. So, there you go. <laughs> If you ever fire me, I'm going to get a job with her. You betcha. I, I understand. Uh, and, and not a bad way to go, probably. Yeah. I could be her press secretary. All right, so it's really easy to see what this does for Mississippi State baseball. It's easy to see what it does for Mississippi State University. What about for the city of Starkville? Oh, my goodness. It's easy to see that, too. And okay. if you walk around or just drive around the community, you see the kind of energy that comes with this. I mean, we've seen this one time before. I had this conversation earlier today. We saw this when we had what I call the DAC effect. Yeah. When we had the number one football team for a while, we saw this same kind of energy, this same kind of dynamism that people just want to be here. They want to be part of the fun. It's incredibly positive. And there's nothing like having a positive community. I mean, that's what you want. You want people happy to be here. You want people to come in weekends, weekdays. You want them to have it as either as their second home or their first home. It's a perfect, perfect storm for us in, a, in the best way possible. There's always this interesting dynamic when you're you're talking about a college town because there's a city that has to be run like a city and a university that has to be run like a university. But for it to really click, there's got to be a great working relationship. And I get that probably there are times where maybe there's a little bit of headbutting, but talk to me about the relationship, how your office, Dr. Keenum's office, your office, John Cohen's office, have been able to work together to make this relationship what it needs to be for everybody to succeed. It's really wonderful. Um, I, I have so many examples, but I can tell you right now, I have a monthly meeting with Dr. Keenum, and we had ours this morning, in which we got to talk about... There's a lot of smiles today, right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we were, but we also talked about business. We talked about the things that we're planning on. You know, uh, MSU, when they rise, we rise. When we, we rise, they rise. And so when we have a big project, like we've got a railroad that runs through town, right? And right. I want it to become a trail, Right. So it runs, it touches the university, and the university and the city together pose a pretty big part of what can make things happen sure. in this area. And so it's that kind of working relationship. Okay, I'll give you another one. Duty Noble, Carnegie Hall of College Baseball. Right? I've heard that somewhere. Yeah, I think you have. <laughs> we are building a sports tournament facility right. where we want to partner with baseball camps, softball camps, um, I, my first event out there that I want to have happen that I've gotten the, the thumbs up on is to have a celebrity softball game with some of the old guys coming back out. Oh, wow. Coach Cohen has said he'll coach. He said he'd get Ron Polk to coach the other side. It's going to be fun, but oh, that's, that's awesome. how you make that happen. You have a good time. You make it. It's a town and gown relationship, and if we don't succeed, they don't succeed, and vice versa, and we all realize that. Are you celebrity enough to secure an invitation? I, I'm, I'm, oh, you can get an invitation. If you want to play ball, you come on. Just, just like there that. I've thrown out the first pitch of the softball game. Maybe I can make it work. I don't know. There, there you go. So, you know, I've lived here basically since 1994. Mm -hmm. And so I've seen all these changes. Mm -hmm. And I always love talking to people who they went to school here and then they don't come back for a while and they're like, oh my gosh. You know, it doesn't look like the same town anymore. You know, if you were to point to something and say, this is, this is what Starkville is in a nutshell, for me, what would it be? best place to live in Mississippi and in probably most of the southeast if not all of the United States it is just the perfect location we have the best place to live work play and learn and you add that learn component to it and it brings the university in the community in the partnership school in I mean we're not messing around here we're taking you from from infancy all the way up to retirement and beyond so that you can enjoy this community in a holistic way and that's what we're working toward we want everybody to enjoy being here so Mayor Spruill, uh, we're visiting with Lynn Spruill. She's the mayor of Starkville on Sports Talk Mississippi. L let's rewind. H how far are you, are you into your second term? Uh, two days. Two uh, days. Okay. <laughs> officially, <laughs> officially two days. So let's rewind four years. Mm -hmm. um, your vision when you came into office, what, what, what did you want to see in terms of Starkville four years later 
And how much of that have you accomplished in four years? Okay, well, let me give you a quick story. When okay. I came in, I was a CAO for the city of Startwell in 2005, and I served for eight years. And when I came in, the story I heard was Startwell does the least with the most. Okay. okay? That's the narrative I wanted to reverse. And I think we have done that. Now, I had several things I wanted to get done. Annexation was one. We've done that. We've got an annexation that's going through the court system right now. I wanted us to have an emphasis on parks. We passed a 1% to get Cornerstone Park going for sports, tourism, and rec facilities. So it's going to serve our, our citizenry as well as those and keep our, our city busy every weekend of the year that we can do it so that we don't have downtime, so that we've got people always in here in our hotels and our restaurants. So that we were able to do. We've landscaped, we've beautified. Those are all things that I thought were incredibly important to change how people feel. When you get up in the morning and you dress for the day, you feel better than if you're in your pajamas all day. Well, I want Startwell to be beautiful, and I want them to feel. I want people to feel good about being out and being in the community, and that's what this was about. So we have put our dress clothes on, and we want people to be a part of the community in a very positive way. See, she wants you to dress up. I, I'll, I'll start dressing. You're good. Up. It's Maroon Friday. You're good. Hey, Cook. Maroon Friday, she said. That was quite the entrance for John Cohen. It you was. heard all the uh, cowbells, a hero's welcome. Yeah, you didn't hear me getting any cowbells. But you brought your own. I right? did. See, I bring my own stuff. And Okay, so tell me the story. Apparently, every, as I understand it, every cowbell has a story. So what's the uh, story here? This I, I see 2017. Mayor, this is my mayor cowbell that okay. I got. So this is when I got inaugurated. So inauguration day, it was, it, you were presented was, with a cowbell. Was my, this was my gift from uh, President Keenum. It's really cool. Isn't that cool? Really cool. So what's next? Uh, when, when you look at big plans, broad plans, planning for the future, so, so we talked about where you were four years ago to now. So as you begin your second term and kind of goals, is it just a continuation of kind of that agenda, or are there new items where you go, okay, this is where we want to be four years from now? Well, we've got a lot of things that are yet to be finished. So I've got a build grant for $12.66 million that is going on 182 to improve that and revitalize that area. We've got a finished Cornerstone Park. Coach Cohen has said he'll coach that first team. I've already called you out on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then I want to do this rails to trails project. I am pushing hard to turn this railroad line, which has not been used for over 15 years, into a hiking, biking, and potentially equestrian trail, 38.1 miles, going from West Point to Ackerman. And that would be transformative for us. It touches the university. We would have an incredible um, quality of life element that we can bring to the community in ways that would just sell it. Because right now it's a liability. In terms of working relationship with, this is something we've talked with John about, with other athletics directors in the state of Mississippi, other college towns in the state of Mississippi, do you guys compare notes? Uh, I have only compared notes with Mayor Tannehill, mm -hmm. and I can come away saying without, I hope, being too um, revealing, that ours is the best one in the state. How about that? That's, That's right, that. baby. I like it. I mean, I'm a little partial to my hometown, but uh, it's all right. Well, we it's work okay. really hard at this. Coach Cohen, for example, I texted him yesterday and said, have you got a minute for a call? I hadn't waited 10 seconds, and he was calling. So we do. I we need to know the secret to that because well, I, I don't get that kind he, of response. He knows I'm not going to call him on something frivolous. Sure. Uh, so I don't, I don't abuse my, my contact privileges with that. So. Well, oh, I didn't necessarily mean in terms of relationship with the university. I meant in terms of you're facing maybe some of the same challenges oh, leading a city that is a college town as well. Kind of like, okay, this is how we're approaching this to make a relationship work, or these are the things that we're tackling to grow as a city. Because when you've got an SEC university, maybe you're facing some of the same challenges. That's kind of the, yes. the, the okay. way I well, was. Well, in that case, we, we do the same things. You know, we, we stay in contact with the university president, the university athletic director, the uni all the student, uh, you know, Dr. Hyatt, Dr. Regina Hyatt Young. Um, we, we stay in contact with, with all of the department heads that we can to, just to coordinate and make sure that we aren't doing something that is contrary to their designs so that we can work together and mesh properly because we don't sure. want to butt heads. We don't want to compete in ways that we don't anticipate. Now, that doesn't mean we're the same, and I'll give you an example of that one. We've got scooters. The university doesn't want scooters. <laughs> I mean, it's just true, and I understand sure. it, and I respect that. But I do think scooters bring something fun to the community. Now, I got, oh, I got vetoed. <laughs> I mean, I got overruled when I vetoed the board banning them. But, you know, that's all part of that give and take that dynamic of what people think is right and wrong and, and what Would you, you have been toward. a scooter guy? No. 
Oh, I would have been oh, a huge heck, scooter guy. Me too. Absolutely. Me too. Absolutely. So, you know, yeah. I, I'm just thinking in terms of there's probably a weight limit. Nah, you'd have been all right. Those are industrial strength it, scooters. <laughs> you, that gives, that been gives good. you an idea. You know, we understand and we respect it, but, you know, it's okay. So great to see you parade. This was your baby? The parade? No, it's the athletic department. They just let me ride along on one of our fire trucks. <laughs> well, it's going to be fantastic. We're excited. We feel like we've got a front row seat. Thanks so much for stopping by. Great to visit with you today. Thank you so much.